Now that the Supreme Court has decided not all employers have to pay for birth control, here are some alternatives from history for you to consider. Household items like honey, thyme, and parsley have all been used as contraceptives. Ancient Egyptians believed eating beans on an empty stomach prevented pregnancy. Or it may have just reduced the opportunities for becoming pregnant. Drinking the froth from a camel's mouth, sheep urine, and rabbit's blood were all said to work. And for the adventurous, crocodile dung may just do the trick. This is the scandalous history of contraception. The story goes that for as long as there have been people, those people have tried to avoid the consequences of having sex. Long before the birth control pill, women in ancient Greece and Rome used a potion made from the very rare silphium plant. The potion became so popular that silphium was worth more than its weight in silver, leading to its extinction. Silphium is remembered to this day for its heart-shaped seed which became the symbol for love. Potions were made from the froth of a camel's mouth, sheep urine, rabbit's blood, and the seeds of pomegranates or Queen Anne's lace. If those didn't work, a nice cup of tea made from marjoram, thyme, parsley, or lavender was said to take care of the problem. These methods were questionable, but at least they were less dangerous than some other concoctions. Women would drink the water from a blacksmith's shop, which contained high levels of lead. In China, women would drink shots of mercury, which did stop a pregnancy, along with their brains and kidneys. Today's diaphragm is the descendant of a long line of insertable barriers. Women used half lemon skins, small pieces of rags, balls of bamboo, and sponges soaked in lemon juice. Some ingredients formed their own barriers after being inserted, such as cabbage mixed with pitch, nettle leaves, tar, donkey's milk, honey, or cocoa butter. Other women used beeswax, elephant or crocodile dung, and even cat testicles. Aww. For those who really wanted to have a good time, a sticky wad of opium was inserted. Seems like, if it fit, people tried it. Many of these things were popular because they actually worked to some extent. But then there were some more imaginative approaches, such as magic amulets and necklaces, wearing a leather pouch filled with a cat's liver on the left foot, or spitting into a frog's mouth three times after what? intercourse. Women could also wear the amputated foot of a live weasel around their necks, or weasel testicles on their thighs. So don't despair. The Supreme Court can't take away your weasel balls. With all the attention to birth control for women, have you wondered why there's no pill for men? There was one. In Asia, the seeds of unripe papaya taken daily lowered a man's sperm count to zero without lowering anything else. That's just a few of the creative ways people have tried to be non-procreative. You can find more in Sex in History by Ray Tannehill, available at your local library. So we hope you press the like button, check out our other videos, and subscribe to the Scandalous History Channel.